welcome back to Chaos Child. Last no time we had an inordinately long stream all about ending the common route and what a freaking finale that was. Oh my god, I am on pins and needles waiting for what uh, how to continue into the true ending and I fucking swear I have to get through all these freaking character routes! <laughs> oh god, seriously. Takaru and Serika were like so freaking cool. I just and like to leave us like that. Like, did his thing work? Like, like, like his attempt at like freeing her from like the, that curse. It's like, oh god. It's like, I hope it did. But then it looks like she still has her powers and still remembers him. And like, and she was like freeing him and like, oh my god. It's like, hello, Minecraft. Hello, my traveler. Welcome to the stream. And now it is time. Oh boy, to start the character routes, I'm going into the recommended order. Oh my god, Olga! Thank you so much for that donation on Kofi! Here's compensation for the inevitable mental damage you will experience during this route. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, Olga, that is a huge amount of money, but thank you! Oh my god, and welcome to the stream, by the way. Jesus Christ. Thank you so much. Seriously, you have no idea how much that helps me. I'll try to make the stream as good as I possibly can. Oh my god. Olga, oh my god, thank you so much. And, uh, I assume we have to start from a new game. Uh, right? Oh boy. Uh, let's see, what is the... Look at the city of Shibuya. Wow, look at this. I, I, I forgot this was a, was a thing. This whole animation of the, uh... Earthquake and everything. I completely forgot about that <laughs> with all the events of the story. Oh my god. Okay, so I do have to hold down the key. Wow, this is a very fast. This is a very fast uh, thing. Oh. Chaos time. Really, I thought Q was skip. Because Q is working for me as, as the skip button. Oh, I get E as auto skip. I see. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. This dude just gonna get. Hey, it's me, Seraka. Do you wanna cut off your arm? Oh, well, yeah, sure, whatever. Great, thank you. Okay. I sure hope this won't come back to bite me in some way. Bye. All right, let's see. Let's go. Come on. Oh my god, my songs. Nope. Everybody gets controlled. Hey, it's me, Sakuma. You want to put a, a freaking speaker inside your stomach? Okay, sure. Great. All right, there we go. Back to base and... Good old Taku with Sarah. Oh boy, here we go. Oh, Serica. Oh, I hope everything turns out well for you guys. Oh man, okay, so believe it or not, for like the vast majority of all the character routes, and I can see why now, because Serica can see all the delusions, it's getting all the positive delusions, which you'd already seen. I think the only one that uses the negative delusions is Uki's route. Everyone else's route uses the positive delusion, so we won't we'll see the negative ones for quite a while. So, hello, Void Dweller. Welcome to the stream. All right, so uh, yeah, let's just do... Uh, po we got to do the positive for... Uh... Oh, my God! This is... <laughs> oh, I really want things to turn out well! <laughs> Oh boy. I wonder if we're 
going to get, like, in the original game, like, new scenes that don't have to do with delusions. Okay, so it's Z and C. It's been so long, because, like, the latter half of the game has zero delusions. They pretty much stop after the, uh, school festival. It feels like. Alright, just keep the same... So yeah, we, we won't see a lot the majority of the negative ones for quite a while. Uh, you know, yeah, select all positive delusions. That's basically it. Just like we did before, except this time it'll trigger the Hinai route. So yeah, we're just gonna be fast forwarding through quite a lot. Unless there is like a... Oh, here we go. <laughs> this guy, I, I, like, I, com I almost completely forgot he existed. Because <laughs> he had nothing to do with the story, basically, uh, after a certain point. Hello, Roxas, welcome to the stream. Yeah, so uh, I don't know when the Hinai route is going to start, but I assume at a certain point, the game is going to tell me. I think that part was still completely unnecessary. That, that felt like it should have been... I don't know what, what the point of that even was. <laughs> Alright. Like, it, look at... Oh, here we go. New thing. New. Alright, some new stuff. But realistically, the chances of anything like that ever happening again were near zero. Ah, look at me, Miyashiro Takaru, in my joyful, lovely school life with nothing going on and no tra traumatic deaths or anything of the sort of people with psychic powers killing each other. Hello, Paolo. Welcome to the stream. The wind wasn't especially strong today. <laughs> oh, God! So very, if I ever want to see my pure white goodness goddess ever again, I need the help of something other than the wind. Oh, my God! Going even further beyond. Oh, God. For example... Oh, wow, is he going to use his powers without even realizing it? <laughs> Let's say that for some reason, the pencil holder on the desk fell to the ground. Caruso would complain a little, but she'd bend over and start picking up the pens on the floor. I'd help, of course, so I'd bend over like she did. But since we are both at eye level to each other, there's no way I get to see anything. If I did have a chance, it'd be when she stood up. I can't believe he's being so perverted just for this. When that happened, I could watch her stand up acting as natural as possible. As I was bent over, I would naturally be lower than her. This is going to end in complete disaster. Maybe then I would see my goddess once more. Additional choose. Oh. Oops. Oh, Ito, not mind controlled. And then Ito moved to turn on the printer and his hand knocked my camera off, off the desk. I was in shock as the camera fell to the floor, as if in slow motion. Again? Instead of two strokes of good luck, I began two strokes of bad. First time the camera had survived, but I might not be so lucky this time. So my body moved without thinking. I flung myself forward and stretched out my hand toward the falling camera. That thing's expensive! I'm not letting it fall twice. <laughs> the camera fell right into my outstretched hand. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes, nice catch. I couldn't believe it. But I was going too fast for it to stop. I slid headfirst along the floor. Oh boy, we're going to get into an anime situation, aren't we? It did... No! Oh, my... 
Whoa, that was dangerous, man. Hey, are you okay? Harusu ran over to me. Uh oh. Oh no. Why is he being so? I forgot how the perverted, unfortunately perverted, the early part of the game was. It gets so serious later. And then a miracle occurred. I was lying on my back and I looked up toward the ceiling. At the same time, Caruso bent over to help me up. And since she was in a hurry, she didn't take time to hold down her skirt. Oh my god. So I saw her. It wasn't as clear as before, and I got a quick glimpse of my pure white goddess. At a much closer distance than before, at a lower angle. Oh no! Wait, Takuru, what are you staring at? Jeez. You're so silly. Oh, that was all delusion, that's right. Nah, no way. <laughs> Rusu wasn't the type to be cute when she was embarrassed. She would completely murder me. She'd probably get another look, scary look on her face and start choking me and demanding to know what I was looking at. No way, that was never going to happen. It was wrong to hope for another encounter with my white goddess. It only ended in tragedy and pain. If I got slapped for peeping at the student council president's panties, I would be damned from a reputation at school. It's so crazy how, like, he, he, I, I, you forget what, like, uh, what an asshole he is in the beginning of the game and how cool he becomes at the end. See, he, like, he starts off as a real asshole. I gritted my teeth and start, tried to stop my gaze from wandering down to her skirt. Hmm? When she heard Ito turn on the printer, Kazuki trotted over like she usually did. Ah, uh, another delusion. Is this a new or old? Let's see. Oh, oh no, I accidentally skipped it. Oh, fuck. Wait, I didn't realize it would do that. Oh, fuckleberries. Quick load. Oh, shit, fucker. I... Wait, 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 wait. Uh, let's see. Damn it, I didn't realize it was gonna skip over the choice. Oh, it's right here. Okay, good. Here we go, perfect. There we go. Oh, it's that one, the Yuri one! That was the amazing one. Uh, okay, there we go. Okay, now fast forward. All right, do we have to do the maps all over again? Let's see. It's like, it's really interesting to go back to the, oh, here we go. Here's the uh, whole murder scene. The first murder scene. I forgot that they all went together. Sarah was like, no way, come on, we gotta go inside. That's part of my whole elaborate master plan! Oh. <laughs> God damn it, Serica. Right. Why do you gotta do this? And I know why, it's because you're being hypnotized uh, since you were freaking born to do this kind of thing. Ah, oh, jeez. It's so, it's, it's all a big tragedy, really. Having to do the map triggers every time you do a new route is essential to the experience. Hi, <laughs> jeez. Oh, oh my god. And here's the second Yuri delusion. All right, let's go. All right, there's Hinai. Yeah, I've read about that. The early bad ending that you can get for messing up. Like when Takadu is all like, There's no such thing as psychic powers. Ha! What a ridiculous notion. And then the game earns early and goes, Da 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 da! Alright, 
So far, nothing new. Oh, hey, there's the guy that looked evil, but didn't actually do anything, I think, beyond, like, one more scene after this. Oh, there was Sarah, but that's when he first found her. Like, look, through all the sumo stickers, so it was the journalist dude uh, who, who can use the sumo stickers as cameras. I think that was one of his abilities. And that's how he got all his pictures. Oh, there she is! God damn it, Sarah got. Oh, the bad ending gets an additional scene, too, really. Oh wow, that's interesting, Void. Oh, is this new or is this not new? I want more Serica deletions. Nope, this is old. And she's like, Hey Toku, look at this tiny little thing. <laughs> What tiny little thing? You know, the tiny little sumo sticker across the street. Oh, I could barely see that. You know, it's totally there. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Oh boy. Oh no. Uh, shite. Uh, it was this dude, right? Yes. He said the group dive? Yep. Yeah. Which game is that, Void Dweller? Uh, oh, sh Oh yeah, this is the... That one? I uh, know. Uh, ooh, ooh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ding, dang. Uh, was it that one? Yes, okay. Testing my memory of the original game. Uh... Okay, good. Well, I got that right. Okay. Okay. Oh, here we go. go he and I we're still in chapter one aren't we I think we are another one I think I remember this when we had a lot of delusions in a row the dude yeah that was the uh, the journalist guy who used the the sumo sticker as a camera oh and there's Uki and the old lady just showing up to be creepy when they're actually not creepy <laughs> oh my god and here 
is this image? Takadu studying it over and over. Oh, here's the end of chapter one. Things gonna jump scare us. Doodly D. Jump scare. <laughs> terrifying. Absolutely fucking terrifying. God. <laughs> Oh, and here is his, like, uh, Yukiri Toho voiced uh, YouTube video that... It's like, oh my god, my senpai noticed me! She noticed my video! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, wait. It's gonna be here again. So yeah, I, I, I am kind of shocked that, like, three out of the four character roots use almost completely all the positive delusions. Only Uki uses negative. Oh, we have so many romantic delusions with Serika! Seriously! Oh, a new scene. Hey, Hanaway, is the vice president not coming? Ooh. Huh? Serica tilted her head a little in confusion. Her hand stopped just before she grabbed a salmon rice ball. Wait, who the hell eats a salmon rice ball after at the after they eat cream bread? Mm. Huh. Oh, I think she'll be here today. She's busy getting ready for the festival. And, uh, what are you trying to set up, Serika? Seriously? And, um, not something kind of weird lately. She doesn't look like she's doing too good. I wonder what's wrong. She whispered. Oh, did I just... Oh, I did end, end auto-skip by accident. Okay. Okay, here we go. Okay, good. At least it kept the text this time. Oh, God. <laughs> they really should have let you skip this. On the, on the repeat. I don't remember this. Uh... Oh yeah, the hotel room. Okay, so that. Fine. Oh wait, no, no I'm, 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 I'm it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's this view here. It's, uh, looking down on Don't Look was... Here? Audio bleed, I think, was here. Fine, okay, fine. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh, that's right. Okay, 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 okay. God damn it. Oh, my memory. Forgive me if I don't remember what which one these things are. I'll probably get I'll probably get the correct one, the last one. And the long okay, and the long range photo of it is. There we go. Okay, finally we got through it. Okay.
Ooh, here's where we uh, have the delusion about Super Spy Hinai. <laughs> Secret Agent Hinai. Back to the cafe. Back when the game was so innocent. Well, relatively, you know what I mean. Oh, there's no no. Thinking about um, good old Senri, who I guess we'll see in her, in Nona's route. There is Mio, who we're seeing for the first time. I can't believe she doesn't have a root in the game, like, even just to talk about her past and everything. Dang. Alright, let's see delusion driving. Oh, I heard I heard the fucking sound. Uh, uh the, the the squeak of of that confirmed that that was Serica looking through that. Oh, and there's Sakuma back when he was just a regular old dude. Oh man. Jeez. Ah, it's kind of heartbreaking. If I had known this was going to be like 90% just fast forwarding through shit, I would have probably done this part off screen. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. I didn't know. I did not know that there was going to be this much. Uh... It's a shame because we would have could have probably ended up seeing all the. Oh, here we go. It's this one. Uh, we could have probably ended up seeing all the negative delusions if the roots didn't call for it. I jeez. Like the skip feels like it's going fast, but I think that the the, the it's because the chapters are very very meaty. That uh, that's why it's, it seems like it's taking a long time. And here we go, this which we never really got much of an explanation for, like with Uki right here in the room full of sumo sticker. Back when Uki was scary. And this one, No No gets stabbed by some rando. I was wondering if we were gonna get like more information on that. I guess it really was some rando. Sure, Void. Hello, Trinder. Welcome to the stream. Oh, there's Wacky Wacky, who looked like a bad guy, but didn't seem to be after all. Oh, back to the map. Ah, oh, jeez. Uh, school festival. And I know, uh, oh, hello, Rimsy. Welcome to the stream. We are fast forwarding through the game to get to the Hinai route. <laughs> uh oh, there is the journalist dude who's gonna die at the festival. And yeah, here I think is where for for the other non Uki routes that uh, we're going to like do things that are slightly different. But after chaos, oh, okay. After chaos, child uh, will be uh, cassette beasts. Uh, this is a palette cleanser between science adventure games, and because after cassette beasts, we're going to um, play uh, robotics notes. Oh boy, time for cursed. 
There we go. And uh, after trails, we're going to do trails from Azure. We're going to do the second in the cross. Oh, yeah, those guys who didn't show up until the last chapter. <laughs> And uh, after Trails, uh, we're going to do uh, the second in the Crossville series, yeah. uh, Trails from Azure. And after that, I have not planned yet. But it won't be a Cold Steel. It'll be something else between that. Really? Even worse than Steins Gate root system, Olga? Robotics Nurse is considered the worst in any visual novel? Discovered, wait, discovered Hinai Arimura's chapter? But then why is it fast forwarding? Wait. Is there overlap? The achievement just said discovered her chapter. Wow, it's even worse than choosing Roots and Steins Gate. Oh my god. I did not think that was possible, Olga. Oh wow. Oh, the chapter hasn't started yet, but we're locked in. I see. I see. And I know to actually get through the root, um, there's delusions within the root. Okay. The actual root starts a bit later. Okay, I see. I see. All right, let's keep going. Keep on fast forward. It means I did all the required delusions. Which is interesting, because not many of them focused on Hina at all. Alright. God, I can't believe this has taken so long. Oh, and when everything was so nice. God damn it. There is no no. There's that dude, which. who doesn't really show up much after this. Uh... <laughs> Alright, this one. Yeah, I know we have to do all the positives. We've seen this one already, but yeah. Even f and we've seen the uh, even further beyond. What What is you now? I, I, I've, he I've heard of that, but... Uh, I've heard of that. I don't know exactly what it is, Paolo. Oh, and yeah. I think Ito has already been hypnotized by this point. Because he was doing the whole phone thing. Uh, I assume the route is going to start after this guy dies. There's Wacky Wacky. Wonder if we'll get more about him. Oh, here we go. Delusory, or delusory origin of the tale's other side. Oh, S still, uh, still, it's uh, the same. Even though it's at a new title for the chapter. All right. Yeah, I, I kind of, I, I would have, I would have, I would have done this off screen if I had known that. Except for little, one random perverted delusion in the beginning, it's literally all just, uh, it's literally just skipping through it. Ah, oh, more maps.
Oh, I think here's like a bad ending or something, right? We can get a bad ending here. Let's see if we can get that bad ending. Uh, let's let's make an extra save. I'm pretty sure uh, this is where we can get the extra bad ending. All right. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we'll get it out of the way. Yep. Think about it. Utani said he could see the future. Takayanagi's voice had some kind of strange power. What kind of laptop do I prefer? Uh, a really strong one. <laughs> Kakita could read his clients' minds. And Watabe took photographs that were too good to be true. Oh, that is super interesting. That is super interesting, Paolo. Huh. You know what? Put it in the suggestion. Oh, I need to fail three times, and there's three off, so I have to do a wrong one twice. Okay, thanks, Olga. <laughs> we can hypothesize that they all use some kind of trick that allowed them to control the minds of other people. Huh? Trick? Huh? Tricks? I'll give you a lecture on it. Here's what I'm trying to say. First, Utani who said he could see the future. Tatoeba,彼がメディアの人間とつながりがあれば、まだ世間が知らない情報なんていくらでも手に入れられる。Oh, hold on one second, guys. Sorry, had to deal with something. Everything's okay. Do I use a gamer chair? I do not. <laughs> For instance, if he had connections with someone in the media, he could have plenty of access to things that the general public wouldn't know yet. Couldn't he use that as bait to make himself look like a prophet? And as for Takianagi and her strange voice, she'd been doing street concerts for a while and already had a bunch of fans. Maybe she wasn't the only one. Once someone's your fan, it's simple to make them hypnotize themselves into believing you have something special that drew them to you? And Kakita's ability to read minds might just mean he was very good at dealing with people. Do a good job long enough and your clients will convince themselves that you know exactly what they want. Mm. I would put coffee cups, uh, boy. So yeah, uh, Paolo, if you want to go to the Discord and put you know into the suggestions, 
Then we'll take a look at it. Thanks. Huh. Okay, but do you have any proof? Hello, Liz. Welcome to the stream. Ito hit my argument in one of its weak spots. それは。Well. それは。Well. ないけど。No, but. ないんじゃしょうがないだろう。If you don't have any proof, then there's not much we can do. <laughs> I would have to think about what else. Yeah, we're doing the bad ending list. Hmm. Maybe you should rethink this? I was so sure, too. <laughs> okay. Now we do the, the funnier one. They were aliens from outer space. <laughs> the victims were all aliens from outer space. What? Is that what I'm supposed to say, Mr. Miyashiro? Huh? Come on, I was just trying to lighten things up a little. Ore that te. Wakaranai koto gurai. Ar. Ah, there are some things that even I don't know. Te itte mo in da zo. You're allowed to say that, you know. Iwanai yo. I'm not going to. <laughs> I should rethink this, and by rethink this, I mean think the same thing again. Taku, do you just do no? What's wrong, Taku? Ichido toilet de kawarate kure. I'm going to the bathroom to wash my face. Oh, we only had to do two of them. Oh. Okay. I'm not even worried about it. Uh, okay. Don't push yourself too hard. Itte rasshoi. Bye. Oh, what's oh? What is this? Is this the extras part of the scene? Mind control Ito. Whew. I felt a little better after washing my face with cold water in the bathroom. Maybe I was overthinking things earlier. Now that I had a chance to refresh myself, I should try looking at things from another angle. Hello, March. Welcome to the stream. Suddenly, someone bumped into me from behind. Huh? They didn't hit me that hard. I only staggered for a moment and then knocked to the ground or anything. But whoever they were, they clung to my back and didn't let go. At least apologize or something. Tried to turn around to tell them that. I felt my back start to burn. Like how a single drop of water creates ripples that spread across a pond. The heat spread across my back. And once it spread out far enough, it suddenly turned to pain. Uh. What the hell? He's gonna get killed here? It hurt. It hurt bad. It felt like fire. I'd never felt anything like this before. Pain, 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 what happened? What happened? What happened? I couldn't even stay standing. I crumbled to the ground, una unable to bear the pain. I didn't have the strength left to turn around and see who was clinging to me. I reached out to touch my back and my uniform was wet. No, the entire back of my body down to the top of my pants was wet. It was like I pissed myself. Was there anything more embarrassing than peeing your pants when you were in high school? Why was it wet? I didn't know. I couldn't remember wetting myself. I didn't feel like I had to go to the bathroom at all. <laughs> so yeah, this Ito smile was a spoiler. Oh, so this part would still be in it. Oh, wow. I could see the dull gleam of a knife in front of me. The knife was red with blood. And then I knew. I'd been stabbed from behind with this knife. Stabbed? What kind of joke was that? 
I was at school. Why would I get stabbed at school? Why the fuck would he get killed here? Who? The. My body had crumpled and it wouldn't do what I told it to do. I could only move my legs in spasms, as if an amateur puppeteer was trying to control me. Felt like I'd been thrown into a thick liquid. The strength was draining from my body. I was having trouble focusing. All the sounds around me faded away. I somehow managed to move my neck. Using all the strength I had, I turned around to look at the person who collided with me. And then I felt a powerful impact on my nose. Next thing I knew I was lying on the cold floor. They kicked me in the face. I felt like there was a lot of snot coming out from my nose. Maybe it wasn't snot, maybe it was blood. I couldn't breathe through my nose anymore. I kept trying to snort the blood back in, but it kept pouring out. My vision started to turn red. Don't disappoint them too badly. I didn't know whose voice it was. I couldn't tell. Who was it that stabbed me? Dang, what the hell? Enough. I'm disappointed. Just die. Serica is not gonna like this. What did I do to disappoint him? Someone tell me, please. No matter how much I tried to scream, no one would ever hear me now. Serica is not gonna like this. Yeah, here we go. Why did you kill him? He wasn't strong enough. The only ones who can kill Miyashiro Takuru are me and Miyashiro Takuru! But... Don't overstep your bounds, dog! Ah, oh, there's, there's the badass Serika. This is the extra part. Oh, wow. Ah! Now, is she going to take care of Sakuma? I'm sorry, Taku, for making you feel bored. If only I've been able to entertain you more. I'm sorry. Common root bad end. Enough, I'm disappointed. Reach the bad end. Alright, well, that was something we. Oh, wow. Jeez. My god, Sakuma is so goddamn impatient. Seriously. He just got bored with the experiment just because he got two choices. He got the choice wrong twice. Oh, <laughs> jeez. Wow. Wow. Sakuma is super impatient that he would do that. My god. Wasn't Sakuma mind controlling Ito then, though? Alright. So. Oh, this this random ass scene of the gotcha life thing. I Oh, here's the no no freaking delusion. And there I go, okay.
Oh, here, what is this? What the hell is that red stuff? Like, was that Sakuma trying to, like, put it in his mind that Uki was bad? Oh, okay, that was Ito acting under, like, he believed he was avenging Senri. Okay, I see. So, but it was Sakuma's fault, but it was Ito being my controlled Ito. I see. I wonder when exactly Sakuma got to Ito. I see. Well, there's Uki. Oh, going into the ba scary basement. I, uh, is it, is it going to be until, like, the D-Sword explanation? I, I assume it's going to be until that, right? Because they're going to meet uh, Mio here, I believe. And uh, then after, soon after that, Chapter 5, Giggle Maniacs, Illusory Dwellers of the Looming Outcry. Yep. Yeah, this is when... Um, it, it's got to be right after the Giggle Maniac explanation. Uh, just like in Chaos Head. Because that's when the roots are allowed to split after he knows what a Giggle Maniac is. Oh, the only reason we're skipping negative delusions is because I'm trying to get the Henai root. I'm going to get that negative one uh, later when we're trying to get the Uki root because all of them are all about uh, positive delusions. Uh, except for Uki, which... It starts when they get attacked by Senri, I see. Quote unquote Senri. Thanks, Paolo. Wow, so we still got quite a. This whole stream is gonna be nothing but fast boarding. God damn it. Seriously. Oh, thanks. Yeah, Olga said it too. Thank you. Oh my god. I. S I am so sorry, you guys. If I had known it was gonna take this long. At least we know for the future, you know, when I do, uh, frickin' uh, Kazuki's route next, I know to just do it off screen until it gets separated. Oh, here's the awesome one. I love this. I love this one. Ah, uh, yes. You are the chaos child. da 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 <laughs> Cheers. But yeah, when I do uh, the no no and. Uh... Unfortunately, I can't do neutral because I have to get to the root. But we'll try it another time. Uh, here we go the Giggle Maniac explanation. And oh yeah, I guess it makes sense after. Uh... Spoiler free god. The god. Oh, there's, there's, there she is. There's Hideriko. Insane drip. Looking a lot like Senri. Alright, well, well, thank, please remind me next time, Liz, because I really just want to get to, so we can have something of the actual Hinai root in this stream. It's so weird that they only added, like, one random extra perverted, uh, no no delusion. And that's it. Like, you think there'd be more extra scenes. Alright. Oh, there's Yui. Erica. And there is freaking Sunry. Hey, Chaku. I just finished setting up all those super stickers outside. Can you go and read them? Look at them. Okay, fine. No, oh, why did I do this? Ah, 
allergies. Alright, we're almost there. They're gonna get attacked by uh, Hyderika soon. Uh, here we go! Here we go! Okay. Alright, it should be right after this. Here we go! Oh my god! We actually made it! Senpai, let's get out of here! <laughs> huh? What are you doing? Hurry! While I hesitated, Arimura ran past a woman and head toward headed toward the street. The woman slowly started to stand back up. Damn it! I ran after Arimura before the woman could get her. I ran down many different alleyways and turned down several corners. I didn't even know where I was anymore. I just kept running, sure that if I turned back, that woman would be right behind me. I ran. And ran. And ran. And then? True world, within the eyes that resist truth and lies. All right, here we go. <laughs> yep. Uh, uh. Where's Arimura? Where did Arimura go? How could she run away and leave me behind? Uh, uh. Finally, we made it. We made it, you guys. Now, when, when I do the other routes, aside from Uki's, obviously, because we want to see the negative delusions, I'm just going to do it off screen. <laughs> Damn it. And what the hell is wrong with that woman? I I'm so really sorry, you guys. I thought, because in, in Chaos Head, there were a bunch of extra scenes before the route split, like, about, like, that had to do with the characters. And, like, also showing what the culprits were doing, like, you know, at certain times. What the hell is wrong with that woman? Why did we... I mean, I... have to go through this! Was it because I'd been investigating the case? Then maybe... Miyashiro-Takuru-senpai. <laughs> I did want to do... You're going to be killed, Yashiro Takuru Senpai. Maybe I should have listened to Arimura's warning. I did want to do Kazuki first, but then I just re I want... I realized uh, I'll just do the recommended route order. Maybe I should have dropped the case right then and there. But back then I never thought the killer would come after me. I wasn't trying to catch them. I just thought it was interesting. We're only pursuing the case because it was fun. <coughs> Damn it! Was that just how reality worked? I hadn't done anything wrong. I'd just been doing this for fun. Was that enough to justify killing me? <laughs> killing me? If she killed me, I would die. Uh... Wrong, wrong, wrong series. This is science adventure, not fate. If I died, I'd cease to exist. Hello, gone to heaven. Welcome to the stream. You arrived at a good time. We just started the Hinai route proper. I'd disappear. I'd be gone. 
I wouldn't be able to see anything, hear anything, say anything, eat anything. Everyone would make a fuss at first. Maybe someone would cry, but they wouldn't really mean it, and they wouldn't do it for long. For long, they'd all forget about me. Kurusu, Ito, Koski, and even Saraka. Saraka would never forget you. Oh, God. I'd be all alone in an empty, dark world. No one would remember me. No! No, 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 no! Anything but that. I... He wants to be special, no. I... No. I suddenly heard a noise from in front of me. Footsteps. Did she get ahead of me somehow? Could I do it again if I had to? Thankfully, it's only been an hour. For It was like maybe... Counting the bad end, maybe it was like 50 minutes of recap of, of speeding through the game, but that's still a long time. I am so sorry, you guys. The way I dodged those flames. If that was what Arimura said was my power. But how? I knew I had to bring out that sword thing again. But I didn't know how to do it. <coughs> uh, it wasn't working! I'd been able to do it before because I wasn't thinking about it. But when I tried to do it now, the panic won out. Not only could I not use my powers, I couldn't even see the sword anymore. The footsteps kept getting closer. It was no good. I'd have to... I'd have to run. It was all I could do now. Not anymore, Void Dweller. Now we're actually doing Hina's route. My mind knew I had to run, but... My body wouldn't obey. My legs went numb and my heartbeat was deafening. The sweat pouring down from my forehead got into my eyes. I didn't even know where I was running to anymore. The footsteps from behind gradually got closer. They were almost on top of me. Right around that corner. So close. I would, I would normally do that, Paolo, but we just did a four-hour stream followed by a five-hour stream. And look, she's right there. Wow, she really caught up? Jeez. <laughs> Stay away. <laughs> Wait, oh, it's Hinai. Okay. <laughs> Stay away. Stay away from me! Don't come any closer! Wait! Wait! It's me! It's me! I flailed my arms and legs out of my attacker, who screamed in a surprisingly cute voice. Huh? Ari... Mura? Are you safe, Senpai? What? Don't scare me like that. I'm the one you got scared. You just screamed all of a sudden. Why 
僕を置いて先に逃げていったくせに、なんでまだこんなところにいるんだよ。That's because I thought you were that woman! And wait, what are you doing here? You ran off and left me. Why are you still here? それはこっちのセリフです。どうして私と同じ方向に逃げてきちゃうんですかそんなことしたら追っかけてこられちゃうかもしれないじゃないですか That's what I'm asking. Why did she run in the same direction I did? She might come after me now. ちょっと待て。もしかしてお前、僕をおとりにするつもりだったのか Wait a second. Were you planning on using me as a decoy? 別に最初からそういうつもりってわけじゃないです。ただ、結果的にそうなったってだけっす。It wasn't like a plan or anything. So how things ended up. Why you? I don't know about that. I bet you really. Shh. Shh. Arimura suddenly put a hand over my mouth before I could say another word. I was about to complain, but when I saw the look on her face, I shut up and listened carefully. There was no doubt about it. This sound, this time it really was that woman. God damn it, she followed them. <laughs> There was an explosion, a shockwave in the air sent, struck me in the face. I could smell something burning with the black smoke that covered my vision. And beyond it, Damn, she makes for a really intimidating looking villain. Yeah, how could they not outrun her? The woman with the empty eyes. <laughs> Why does this keep happening to me? Now's not the time to think about it! I knew that. I knew that, but what was I supposed to do? I'll just try to have to use, have to try to use my power again. Can you do it? I don't know, but I don't have a choice. I force my shaking legs to turn around toward the woman. Her eyes were still empty as she stared at me. I couldn't sense anything in them at all. I couldn't tell what she was thinking or why she was doing this. But I could tell her eyes were looking at me. She was after me. <laughs> Please. Just one more time. Just one more time. Focus. Focus. Is he gonna like take her out right here, right now? I wonder. <laughs> Give me power! Senpai! Senpai! Hi. Senpai! Senpai! I can't do it! I can't! What do we do, Arimura? What? Don't tell me that now! I thought your powers were always supposed to activate just when things really got bad! Maybe things weren't that easy after all. Wait, can't you use your power to do something? Of course I can't! What am I supposed to do? Tell if she's lying about using fire? I'm pretty sure she's telling the truth! Shit. <laughs> I 
I could see the woman raising her hand, slowly, out of the corner of my eye. This was very bad. At this distance, if I got hit with those flames, it was going to be really, really hot. No, hotter than hot. I could burn to death. Even if I didn't die, I'd be badly burned. There was no way I'd be okay. I needed to find some way to run. But how? Like, that's where he didn't he didn't activate it yet in this in this timeline because he ran away. A spiral of orange light was forming in the woman's hand. Oh shit. Did this mean I was going to die? Was I going to die here and now? Did dying always feel so unreal? The woman was right on top of us now. A massive whirlpool of flame had formed around her hands. And then slowly she turned her hands towards us. Huh? And then, there was a sudden strange sound as the flames flowed backward and struck her in the face. Oh, Taku, you did it! She flailed back and fell to her knees. <laughs> I looked behind me and saw that Arimura was only a kind of hairspray. Oh, no, that was Arimura being super resourceful. Arimura might have not have expected it to do much. But it worked better than she could have possibly imagined. That's embarrassing. Arimura was st staring in shock at what had just happened. But there wasn't any time for that. The woman was slowly starting to look up at us. Arimura's counterattack had made her angry. she came after us again, we'd be dead. So before that happened... We're getting out of here, Arimura! Huh? <laughs> I picked up the spray can at my feet and flung at her attacker, then grabbed Arimura by the hand and ran toward the strange woman. She must not have expected that, because fortunately, we didn't hear any footsteps right away. But now we need to lose her and get somewhere safe, where we could hide. But the only place we could hide around here... ...was there. But she found that place. No, there wasn't any time to worry about that. I had to chance it. Senpai, where are we going? This way. What? I can't... Oh, come on! Hey, what happened to all that courage you had a moment ago? <laughs> what are you talking about? We're almost there! Keep going! Damn it. Did she really have to talk back at a time like this? If we give up here, we'll probably die. Do you understand that? I 
I... I do, but... But Ari Moral was right. My heart was pounding so loud I thought it might burst. In manga and anime, you always gain incredible stamina in situations like this. Evidently, though, that didn't actually happen in reality. It was impossible for a human being to surpass their limits. Maybe I should have exercised more. Obviously, it was too late for that now. Still, that didn't mean I would give up. Anyway, just hang in there and... And? I didn't have the strength left to answer a question. We just had to keep going. Even a big city like Shibuya had, lo Shibuya had lots of tiny overlapping little alleyways off the main streets. And this area was my home, which meant I had the advantage. It wouldn't be long before... I was right! I could hear sirens! Even in an alleyway, someone was bound to hear all of that noise. If the police were here, that woman would have bigger problems than trying to track us down. Okay, now's our chance. This way! Hey, wait! I lowered my body to the ground and headed further into the darkness. Senpai! Senpai, this is... At this point, I'd be, able to, been able to, I'd be able to find my way there blindfolded. Senpai, this place is... Is it somewhere that she knows? Shh! Just shut up and come inside. But... Just hurry! Oh, oh, it's his base. <sighs> we listened carefully to the sounds around us as we caught our breaths. If we heard her footsteps, we'd recognize them immediately. We could hear the sound of police sirens in the distance. I hoped that the police would catch her and take her away. We just stood there, frozen in prayer as we waited for time to pass. Five minutes. Then ten. It wasn't long at all, but it felt like an eternity. If she still hasn't come after us, we'd probably, we're probably okay now. I took a deep breath. All the tension drained from my body, and I slowly sat on the ground. Um... Are we safe now? Ari Mora asked. Uh, yes, I think so. So this I see. But still, that woman. Was she the one behind the murders? If so, then what was her connection to the facility under the hospital? Was she acting on her own, maybe? There still wasn't enough information to tell. Um, senpai. Um, senpai. What? What? I think it's okay now. 
already said we're safe now, didn't I? Yes, <laughs> No, I mean my hand. Your hand? Hi. Oh, that is cute. Yeah. You're still holding my hand. Oh. I've been so desperate to get away from the woman that I hadn't realized it. But it seemed like I've been holding Arimura's hand all the time. And it wasn't just a hand. She and I were incredibly close. <laughs> I quickly jumped back. <laughs> Is the reason that you took me into a dark place like this because you want to? <laughs> No, no, it wasn't deliberate. I didn't mean anything weird by it. We were literally running for our lives. I knew that. You're clearly not the type. And she can tell if he's lying, too. What did you say? It's like, see, this is more in line with the characterization of Taku I knew from before, like... It, it, like, his perverted moments from the beginning almost seem really weird. In comparison to what a prude he is, usually. Like, he's very straight-laced. What did you say? What <laughs> I don't know how to say it. You know, maybe you're not used to being around girls? That's not true. He's he's around Serika and Nono all the time. Wait, 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 wait. Don't underestimate me. I'm a normie, whether I look like it or not. A normie? Would a normie call themselves a normie? Drat. The term didn't seem to mean anything to her. So, Yes, you know, a normie. Means I have happy, normal life. I don't know what you might think about me, but I know exactly how to act around a lady. Wait, where are we? Listen to me! <laughs> Arimura had stood up and started to look around the dark room. That's right, she's never been here. Something. Hey, don't move, don't move around and destroy my home. Yeah? Home? That's right. This is my home. Do you know what that means? It means I live here. That's what home means. I decided it was probably safe now and I turned on the lights. Huh. Now that she could see, Arimura was looking around the room in surprise. She seemed a lot less on edge than usual, probably because she was pretty sure the woman wasn't going to come after us anymore. You're probably thirsty, right? I opened up the fridge and took out two plastic bottles. Then I handed one to her. Oh, thanks. 
She opened up the bottle and took a big swig of it. <laughs> I finally feel alive now, you know. Mountain View, of course. You haven't heard of it. It's the most highly caffeinated soft drink available in Japan, which acts to stimulate the brain. Harimura ignored me, even though I was still in the middle of my lecture, and grimaced with her mouth still full of Mountain View. Evidently, she didn't like it. Well, no accounting for taste. Is this a noble house? Yeah, Torera House No, a mobile home is specifically a vehicle intended to stay in one place most of the time. It's best thought of as a house with wheels. <laughs> but this house is more of a vehicle with living facilities added. It's more properly referred to as a camper or RV. ちなみに一言にキャンピングカーと言っても専用の車体を利用したフルコンとかバンやボックスカーの内部を改装して居住空間を作ったバンコンなどいろいろあってWhat's more, there are several different types of camping cars, ranging from ones that use special frames to converted vans and boxcars. Why are you living in a place like this? Would you please let me finish first? You're Karusa Senpai's little brother, right? From the orphanage? That's just what Karusu called me. Well, we did live there together for several years. I would have preferred that she didn't ask any more questions about that. If she asked, I'd have to tell her about what happened. Hmm. <sighs> I see. Huh? Is that all? You're not going to ask me? Ask you what? That's why I'm about me and Karusu, or why I'm living here alone? No. You don't want me to, do you? Why do you think that? Oh, maybe. Maybe it was her power? Unfortunately, that's incorrect. My power can only tell me if someone's lying or not. It can't tell me what they're thinking. Then how did she know? But instead, I've become pretty sensitive to how people are feeling. And I can kind of figure out what a person is thinking. Of course, it's easier to tell with some people than others. In other words, it's easy to tell with me? I couldn't say. 
談を言ってもらっちゃ困るな。僕の思考は複雑。だってそうじゃ思考を読むなんてできないはずだ。<笑> oh my god! Oh my god! Back in his freaking Rick and Morty face. Oh my god! Taku! It really freaking remind like makes you rem blah. Re remember how much he grew. <laughs> Don't try to fool me. My thoughts are so complicated and intricate that it would be impossible to guess them. <laughs> I don't think that's a nice thing to do, Void. I wouldn't do that. What? Nothing. I'm just surprised that you really believe that. What does that mean? So, can I ask you what you were talking about before? Well, uh, before, yeah, yeah, we still have like a while left in stream. I just want to give a quick shout out to Light Arimura, who sadly couldn't be here for this stream, but. I, I know you'll probably watch the uh, VOD if you want, but just a shout out because I knew you wanted to see Hina's root. Maybe it was easy to tell what I was thinking. Then, can I ask you something else? Something else? You're a normie, right? Yes, that's right. That's what I was talking about before. I'm a normie, so I know how to talk to a girl. <laughs> Thank you, Cool Cat Press. Do normies read magazines like this? <laughs> Arimura picked up one of the magazines scattered at her feet. Cool Cat Press. Woman of the day from edge to the Cool Cat Press. Everything from meeting a girl to getting laid. <laughs> oh my God! What what a what a difference is this from last stream? Back to goofy stuff. Oh my god. I quickly reached out to grab it, but she dodged me easily. Eh, <laughs> I don't know if I said it before. Welcome to the stream, Gone to Heaven. Huh, let's see. Minami Kai Kenji Sensei, I can't get a girlfriend. What do I do? Just bring her to your room and pin her down, and she'll do whatever you want. Wow, that that's that's horrible. That 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 is horrible advice. That is like literally the worst possible advice. Don't read it. La that, that, that's the kind of advice that gets you thrown in jail. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I reached out of my hand again to grab the magazine from her. But I'd run so far and was so exhausted that even that, that was enough to throw me off balance. And as a result... Uh-oh. Anime moment. <laughs> We know what's gonna happen here, and uh, yeah, the the d delusions within the roots. We do need to get the positive. So, what I'm gonna do is save right here, cause uh, 
we do need to get uh Uh, we do need to see the positive and negative delusions. Uh, uh, the, the negative for the bad version, uh, the bad ending for Hinai, and the positive for the good. So, yeah, let's... Uh... Why was you looking at me that way? Wait, this is just like... Masaka, senpai. Uh-oh. Senpai, you don't... I don't... No, wait. Did I really not... Minamakita since I had set it up for- Oh god, Taku, don't do this! If you pin a woman down, she'll do whatever you want. And she actually wanted you to. That is- I didn't actually believe it. Okay, good. I'm glad you don't actually believe it. <laughs> but- Maybe it was true and I just didn't know it? God damn it. At least he's just having a delusion about it and not actually doing it. Then maybe- Actually, there's a whole special on it, wasn't there? It was July 1999 issue, I think. That bratty little girl a year or two younger than you was actually just waiting for you to make a forceful move. Oh my god. Wow. What the hell? Who's writing this cool cat press? A forceful move? That meant... So Oh, so there's no reason to get the bad end for this one. Okay, so the bad end for this route is just an early end without additional scenes. Okay, so there's no reason to get... Okay, okay, I see. So, save, reload, do negative, and... Okay, then do positive. Yep. Okay, that's what I'll do. Seriously, I can't believe they're, they were even allowed to publish that. My god! What the hell?! Okay, yep. Yeah. yeah, watch the... Oh, we'll do that for all the future ones. That's right. I'm actually responsible for everything that happened. Huh? Everything? I mean everything. Including that woman back there. Eh? Huh? I think you were the one who told her to attack us? But why? To bring you here, of course. I grabbed her by the wrist and pinned her to the bed. I'm pretty sure it is, Void. To bring me here? Does that mean... For some reason, Arimura didn't resist. Just stared back into my eyes. You know what that means, right? Oh god, Takuru. Poor naive Takuru. This isn't even the worst one? Oh god. Oh boy, Olga. That's what you meant by mental damage. But I can't believe you're the kind of person who would do that. Despite what she said, her eyes were dewy and shining in the light of the fluorescent bulbs above. And there's proof. Oh my god. But I like guys who are forceful like that. Cool Cat Press was right! All hail Cool Cat Press! Arimura. Senpai. Senpai. Take me. Oh god. Yeah, that's not happening. That is a... That is a high crime, I believe. Oh my god. All right, let's reload and uh, see the uh, see the negative one, and then we'll go back and reload for the positive, just to you know get the scene. Wait, this is just like. 
I don't. No, wait. Did I really not? Minamakita had said it. Okay. Zero times, boy dweller. Alright, here's the real delusion. Negative. Let's go. Actually, there was a whole special on it, wasn't there? It was the July 1999 issue. That, okay, it's the same dialogue so far. Forceful move, that man. So they are. Huh? Everything! It's the same. It's the same. That's why I'm not reading it. It's the exact same as before so far. Arimura looked at me in surprise. <laughs> huh? And laughed? Here we go. It's new. Why was she laughing? <laughs> Arimura. Arimura. <laughs> What's so funny? Yeah, I'll do negative fast. I'm negative first. <laughs> How could I not laugh? You set it up? You brought me here? Wow, that's just hilarious. Arimura stood up and put her fingers up to her jaw. And then, with a strange cracking sound, she started to rip off her own face. Oh, is it the girl? Sudden insanity was enough to make me scream. She ripped off her own skin and I could see the muscle and bone beneath. What kind of crazy ass horror movie shit is this? <laughs> no, wait. Oh, she's gonna be a uh, freaking Hideriko underneath. Instead, I saw. <laughs> oh my god. This is hilarious. <laughs> I found you. Yeah, somehow the negative one is less creepy and more funny. That woman from before! How oh, could you run away from me? That's so mean. Her eyes glistened with madness as she got closer to me. This... this is a joke, right? Why? You know why. So I can burn you to ash. She slowly raised her hand. And then the first burst of flame came forth. She's doing the Elmo, the Elmo in fire pose. <laughs> burn, burn, burn! It was so hot, and not in the good way. I felt like I was going to vomit from the stench of burning hair and skin. I opened my mouth, my mouth to breathe, and a wave of fire ran down my throat. This is my pain! This is my joy! Please, 
please. Please, no! There we go. Near what? Huh? I said near what? Arimura was looking at me in confusion. Oh, no, it's nothing. <laughs> nothing at all. <laughs> well, whatever. I'm getting off me or also... Ah, oh, so sorry. Alright, now let's get back and do the positive one again, but fast forward to it. Alright, so next time we'll just do the negative ones first. Alright, so that's good. That her bad ending really isn't worth doing. It's just like a truncated ending. That's good. Oh shit. Wait, didn't I think about doing this once before? Man, I never learn, do I? Senpai, if you don't get off me, I'm going to scream. Ah, I'm sorry. <laughs> ah, I'm sorry. There, there we go. I left off from the to grab the magazines off the floor. Those magazines. <laughs> These aren't what they look like. I'd screwed up. I'd never imagined that a young girl, younger girl would see these. What do they look like? <laughs> they. Oh, right. No matter what kind of excuse I came up with, Arimor would realize it was a lie. Gigalomaniacs, what are you going to do? What an obnoxious power. <laughs> what are you laughing at? I was just thinking that you really are easy to figure out. Well, sorry for being easy to understand. There is nothing to apologize for. That just makes it easier to spend time with you. Oh, I don't need to spend time with you like in a weird way or anything. Oh, you don't need to tell me that, I know. Even I wasn't dumb enough to misunderstand that. I sure hope so. Arimura slowly stood up and looked out the window. You could still hear the faint noises of police and fire truck sirens in the distance. Come to think of it, I'd already forgotten that I had almost died out there. Why? No, there was no need to ask why. It was because of Arimura. If I was here alone, I'd probably still be shaking. I wasn't trying to, to say it that after what happened, Arimura was now someone special to me or anything like that. But in the past few hours, the thick wall between the two of us felt like it had gotten a little thinner. Okay, it's about time for me to leave. You're leaving? I can't stay here forever. How are you going to tell me I should spend the night here? I'm not. Damn it. Making fun of me, are you? <laughs> Don't worry. I'll step to streets with lots of people. I can't imagine doing anything with all those police out anyway. 
She was probably right about that. But even so... Want me to walk you home? Why? Because I'm worried, of course. Worried? About me? I mean, you're a girl, after all. It's a man's duty to walk you home. That's what Cool Cat Press had said, anyway. <laughs> Did you get that from that magazine, too? No! No! Oh, crap, she can know I'm lying. <laughs> you really are easy to figure out, senpai. Damn it. I give up. That's part of it, but I really do think that it's dangerous out there. Hmm. What? You're telling the truth, huh? Huh? Yeah, no, nothing. That's true, Liz. Absolutely. Well, that's what Sarah did, didn't... Again, I was comparing Sarah to, to Beatrice a, a bit, uh, a, a, like a, a dozen or so strings back. And, uh, yeah, I think she did the same thing to avoid, uh, like, a, a red truth. No, nothing. Thanks for the offer, but I'm all right. Arimura cheekily walked f f f cheerfully walked toward the exit, then stopped and turned around before she got to the door. <laughs> Thank you for your help today. You saved my life. Or at least we'll say that you did. And with that, adios gracias! She bowed her head slightly and then left. She didn't have to mention that we'll say part. Strangely enough, though, it didn't bother me. At any rate, Gigalomaniacs, huh? I'd use some kind of power to control that woman's flames. Arimura had said that was my power. That was the only time I've been able to use it. Let's try this again. I took a deep breath to compose myself. My power. Huh. At first it was so hazy I had to focus on being able to see it at all. But gradually, it began to form a definite shape in the corner of my eye. It was twisted yet beautiful, disgusting yet poor pure. Its very presence was so overwhelming that it was impossible to believe it ever belonged to this world. I reached out my hand fearfully. I couldn't even touch it. What had I done before? That's right. When she'd attacked me with her flames, I... Was this my... <gasps> ah! It was just a message. That scared me. It was from Mari Moore. I made it home safe. I was surprised that she was thoughtful enough to let me know. Either way, I was glad nothing had happened. After that, I tried a lot of different ways to strengthen my power, and then at some point I fell asleep. 
I wouldn't know until morning what had happened to the woman after that. 2005. They say that every person has a single image somewhere in their mind that defines who they are. Or oh, for I am more Hina that was of her family, seated around a dinner table. Oh, new CG. Oh wow. Oh wow. We get to see her family. Her, her, her mom and dad and her brother, the four of them sitting around the table. That image more than anything else, to find the kind of person that he and I was. Her mom and dad both worked, and on weekdays they could often come home late. Sometimes they didn't even come home at all. But he and I never felt alone. She was never alone because she had an older brother. Her parents had told her that when she was born, he'd be the happiest boy in the world. But you didn't need to hear that to know how much he meant, she meant to her brother. He and I always had a pretty face ever since she was a baby, and she'd always been popular. But her brother loved her more than anyone. When he, whenever he and I cried, he'd always tr tried to make her feel better. When it was time for her to sleep, he'd rock her in his arms. He was in one of the older classes at elementary school, and he probably wanted to play with his friends. He'd had a lot of friends, actually, and every day they'd invite him over. But he would always turn them down and come straight home to be with he and I. With their parents working so much, he spent a lot of time alone in the house. He probably didn't want he and I to go through the same thing. Ah. Normally, acting like that would have cost him his friends, but he had never, that had never happened. He was just that good of a big brother. <coughs> As Hina got older, she became more and more like a young girl, and her brother loved her even more. Her parents decided that Hina could safely be left in her brother's care, and started to come home even later. But every Sunday, they were always home. Sometimes they'd all go out somewhere for the day, then come back in the evening to eat at the dinner table. That was the rule at the Armour household. Oh, oh my god. There was always warm food and her family was always smiling. That was it was what happiness meant to her. It was something so natural and so normal that she never doubted it. And it was the truth. Oh, so that's what happened last night, Taku. Ah, Yes, it was awful. I just can't catch a break. The first thing I did when I got to school the next morning was tell Serika what had happened. I had no way of knowing what had happened to the woman after that. I checked the news when I woke up, but not only did I not find a name, I couldn't even find anyone reporting on the attack. However, there were a lot of people on the social networks talking about the strange woman. After all that chaos, the police had to have known about her. Still, I didn't know what would happen next. I was a little hesitant to go to school, but I figured she wouldn't be willing to attack me in broad daylight. And since I made it here safely, I figured I was that I was right. Oh, Serika. Oh, I hope Taku is able to help you in the true ending. So, what happened then? What happened? I took Arimura to my room. Huh? Your room? 
You mean that RV? What else could I mean? Just the two of you. Of course. It's not like I was going to bring the woman who tried to kill us. Oh! Ah, I see. I felt like she was implying something. What are you grinning about? I'm going to murder her in her sleep. Oh, nothing, Chaku. I mean, you alone with a girl in your room. That's amazing, isn't it? It's amazing, isn't it? It's How rude. Listen, I've told you this a thousand times before. I'm a normie. This is nothing for me. This happens all the time. A completely normal occurrence. Ha 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 Many times. <laughs> I mean, you are me or Nunchan? Hora, hora. Hajimete de show? De show? See? See? That was your first time, right? Right? Urusaina. Shut up. So, so, did something happen? Serika's voice dropped into a conspiratorial whisper as she grinned at me. What do you mean, something? Huh? Don't be silly! You know what I mean? Serika, you haven't tried it yet, but Taku is. So oblivious. <laughs> of course not. We're almost killed. We had bigger things to worry about. Uh, come on. I bet you liked it. In fact, I know you liked it. She's just doing this for freaking shits and giggles. She knows exactly what happened because she's freaking read his mind. She just likes to tease him. <laughs> I did not. Oh, who do I spy with my little eye? I turned around and saw Arimura herself waving at us. Uh, Arimura. Hi, Arimura. This. Yeah, it's me, Arimura. Mirashiro Senpai, ciao. Oh, oh. Yes. Arimura was acting nothing like the way she did last night in my room, and I wasn't sure how to deal with it. But I guess she was always like this at school. How do you too? Oh, I just can't help thinking about the tragedy. I guess she didn't hear what we were talking about. And there's no other way for her to know unless 
Unless she was listening in, so everything's good. Time to change the subject. So, so, you didn't what? <coughs> Did you hear what we were saying? えっと、about you liking something or maybe not liking it? What are you talking about? Come on, tell me. それがね、実は。Well, I didn't. It's nothing important. Hmm. Her voice was chipper, but her eyes weren't laughing at all. Right, there was no way I could lie to Ari Moore. So, we were just talking about yesterday, is all. Yesterday? Yes. Yesterday, huh? I see. Huh? That must have been good enough for her. I'd expected her to be more suspicious. Oh, that's right. Armour could only tell if I was lying or telling the truth. In other words, I was safe as long as I didn't tell her everything. Maybe I could use that with Arimura in the future. Right. Mirashiro Senpai, look at this. Arimura gently rubbed her hair, which she tied up to the side. Did you do something with your hair? Can't you tell? Here, look. It got fried after what happened last night. Where? I got closer to look, but I couldn't really tell. Look, right here. Hmm. Oh, you're right. But it's not a big deal, right? Not a big deal, my good sir. Don't you realize how important a girl's hair is to her? It's your fault for not dealing with that woman sooner anyway. That's not even remotely fair. Right on away? Can she not say anything because, uh, uh... Senpai? What happened to Sari? Oh, oh, she's always been like this. Don't worry about it. She was probably thinking about something stupid again. Like figuring out who to murder. But if... I asked her about it, about it, I'd probably have a mess on my hands. Hmm. Oh, so that. So Oh, right, actually, Miyashiro Senpai. About your power. She was whispering, so I whispered too. Oh, oh I wanted to talk about that too. That power? You know where you can see that sword. 
リー誰が聞いてるかわかんないんだからそんな大きな声で話すなっつうのヒセリー You don't know who might be listening so don't talk out loud so loud For all we know the killer could be hearing us Anyway, Senpai. Ah, and this one. Scotch that can control the kid on that ticket. Yes, I've actually learned to control it a little. Maybe. Kind of. So let the Takumo, Shigina Chikara, Tsukari, you know that the Koto? Huh? Does having a mysterious power, too? That's so hot. I mean, cool. Hurry! Uh, oops! Oopsie doodle! After what had happened yesterday, I've been exhausted, but I did what I could to learn more about my power. Look like I need to use someone else's brain to make my delusions real. So I asked Gensan to be my guinea pig. Knowing Gensan, he'd be so drunk that he'd forget about it after a day or so. And as a result... I can move things that aren't too heavy. How light are we talking about? Like a rock? Yeah. No, a uh, little tinier, maybe. A notebook, then? A couple of pages. Huh? Use that for splitting up girls' skirts. Ima, mother, Taista, but an icon, Serenaikido. So much you motto, Oki, Munda, the Gokasirio, Narte. It might not be anything special right now, but eventually I'll be able to move stuff that's heavier. I just need more practice. Serica, you jerk. I tried really hard. But still, flipping up skirts, huh? I never thought of that. Oh boy. Well, we'll do this delusion and uh, then after this I'll save. I'd overlooked that. What a brilliant idea. But I couldn't do it here. Although this might be a good chance to show off my powers. And what's more, Sirica? This is your fault to begin with! Do you know how hard I worked just to move one tiny little object? I barely got a wink of sleep last night. It was the least she could do after all that effort. Gee. Gee. Stare. Hmm? hmm? I suddenly realized that, realized that Sirica was staring at me. None. She called her Sirica. What? Taku, Mata Nanika Yokunaiko to Kanga Tiru de Show. You're right thinking of something naughty again, aren't you, Taku? Don't lie to me. I know exactly what you're thinking. Shit. Nani Tendayo, Boga Betsy Sunagoto. What are you talking about? I'm not. Uso des. That's a lie. You were, weren't you? Shit. That's right. Arimura's here. You were probably thinking about something perverted again, weren't you? So, so I was not. So, you could do. Zumari, Echina Koto, Kanga, Data to you, Koto, this, eh? 
That's another lie. So you definitely was thinking about something perverted. I was getting nowhere. It's impossible to lie to these two women. I... Uh, I just kept on digging myself into a deeper hole. But if I answered by shaking my head, I'd be basically admitting it. Armor Hina's power made her a formidable foe. So, what should we do, Hina-chan? Huh? What do you mean? Huh. I don't think perverts need to be punished. Punished? Depending on what they had in mind, they could actually that could actually be a good thing. <laughs> どういうのがいいかな? Good ideas. I want something that will stop him from ever getting thoughts like that again because I am tired of reading them. Seriously, you have no idea how annoying it is. So, Sana. Ja, Shiryuku, about Nante no ado? That's a good point. When I blind him. Huh? Huh? Ha, so de ikamo. Ooh, I like that. If you can't see anything, it won't be able to think anything naughty again. Wait a second. That's going a little too far just because I thought. Hora, Hurry, Taku. It won't hurt. No, that's not the problem here. Senpai. Senpai. <laughs> oh, yes. Maybe I could use my power to distract them somehow. If I could knock and move something to or destroy it, they'd turn their attention toward that. And then I could run away. Okay. I concentrated for a moment, and then when my Divas G sword appeared, I focused on it. Now I. Harimura's <laughs> face suddenly contorted in pain. What's going on? Harimura screamed as she writhed in pain, clutching her right arm. It wasn't an act, it was a real scream. I could see red blood flowing down the end of her arm, forming a puddle on the floor. Harimura screamed even louder. And the next moment... It exploded. Armor's right hand swelled up like a fruit with a firecracker in it, and then exploded from the inside. What the hell? Tiny fragments of flesh spattered across the windows, the wall, and my face, too. <gasps> what the hell? Armora fell to the floor, holding her hand. What is this? Did you do this, Taku? No. You're lying. I could hear a moaning on the cold floor. Senpai. It was you, Senpai. Oh. oh, no, I just, I didn't mean to. Oh. 
ねえねえセリー宮代先輩どうしちゃった Hey セリー What's gotten into 宮代先輩気にしないでいつものことだから Oh don't worry about him He's always like that He likes to think of horror movies sometimes Alright now let's do the、uh, positive And then we'll stop for today. Alright, there we go. <laughs> Choco? Choco? So kai, so kai. そんなに言うなら見せてやろうじゃないかこの僕の力を I see, I see If you really want to see it, then I'll show you えっと、宮代先輩あ、宮代先輩悪いけど、今さら後悔しても遅いからな僕の心に火をつけた自分たちの愚かさを呪うがいい<笑> Sorry, but it's too late for regrets now Curse your own foolishness for giving me the idea! No one can stop me now! I concentrated. Oh my god! <laughs> A terrible, beautiful Excalibur appeared in the corner of my eye. The power welled forth from deep within me. Come, my Excalibur! Give me. Give me power! Behold! This is. This is my gigalomaniac ability! <laughs> This is my power! My power lifted up the skirt of every single girl in the school. Try to hold down your skirts, but it won't work. No one can stop my power. <laughs> Did you see that? This is my. <laughs> That's right! This is my power! The scene around me was something out of a nightmare. No, a most wonderful dream. <laughs> Every girl in the school was walking around with their skirts blown up now. Well, do you understand now? Yes, you're amazing, Miyashiro Senpai. Will you do whatever I tell you now? All right, then I forgive you. I slowly lowered my hands and the chaos around me began to subside. <sighs> I 
<laughs> now, since you promised, from now on you're both my slaves. Got it? Yes, Mr. Takuru. Yes, Mr. Takuru. Da 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 da. If only. Ne ne, Seri. Miyashiro Senpai, how did you get it? Hey, Seri. It's gotten into Miyashiro Senpai. Don't worry. It's always like that. I don't worry about him. He's always like that, having those goddamn perverted delusions. At least he's having them about me. Alright, let's see. Alright, let's see. Alright, that... I don't know how uh, much longer this will take, but uh, that'll be it for today. Uh, we're doing the Hinai route. Probably, maybe, I'm guessing two or three more streams uh, for this route. And uh, yeah, then we'll do Kazuki, so... Looking forward to see what more we learned about Hinai in this route. So, uh, until next time, I will say so long, farewell, avuida zane, good night. You're all the sweetest of hearts. <laughs>